In this video, I'm gonna show you 47 things you need to know before getting chickens. And stay tuned towards the end because I'm gonna be going over some really important ones. And again, these 47 different things have come from different chicken owners. So I, as I read them, they are quotes from other chicken owners. So none of these are me. So if you listening and it sounds like different experiences at the same time, it's because they're all from each individual chicken owner. All right, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number one, build a bigger chicken coop. And I quote, I had wished I had known about chicken math. Plans for one or two chickens turns into three or four or 10. But then you see another cute chick and get curious. And before you know it, you have even more chickens. The list of reasons goes on and on, which leads me to my point. Build a bigger chicken coop than you think from David B. Number two, how much fun it is. If I had known how much fun it really would be, I would have gotten chickens a lot sooner. It really has been a blessing for me and my family. And I really feel it has brought us a lot closer together. Marie P. Number three, Three, chickens are much tougher than people think. Be flexible. Things will not work out exactly as you plan them. Chickens are much tougher than many people would have you believe. Chickens were taking care of themselves long before they were domesticated, and even today's domesticated breeds can still take pretty good care of themselves with a minimum amount of help. The main one, don't crowd your chickens. The more you crowd them, the more behavioral problems you're likely to deal with, the less flexibility you have to deal with problems, and the harder you have to work from Ridge R. Number four, research common illnesses. I have helped with chickens for around five years then i took a break and now i'm starting up again i wish i knew beforehand how to keep chickens healthy my first chickens got scaly leg mites and it was ugly if you research these common illnesses before you get chickens you'll be prepared for when they get ill liberty r number five chickens are smarter than people think how much personality these little girls could have i learn something new every day from them they are hilarious and they are a lot smarter than people give them credit for diana s number six common sense goes a long way. The answer to the question of what do I wish I had known before getting backyard chickens is a really tough one when one delves into the minds of chickens. I really wish I had known more about the pecking order. Really, that is the one thing I seem to have the most trouble with. No matter what tricks I have tried, someone always seems to end up getting picked on more than what is reasonable. However, common sense goes a long way with keeping chickens, but having a great resource to look things up and ask questions has really taught me more than I ever thought it could from Barbara H. Number seven, how much space chickens need. A year ago, my closest encounter with everyday chickens was at the supermarket. I had no idea about various chicken breeds, their characteristics, or even their feather colors. Definitely had no concept on where to house them, what to feed them, or what to do if they get sick. I don't think there was only one thing to know before raising chickens. To me, there were tons I wish I'd known in the beginning, particularly. It would be nice to have some quick rule of thumb recommended guidelines on chicken housing as a start from Yellow C. If you want some guidelines on that, you can check out this article that we've written on that actually. Number eight, use sand instead of sawdust. The best tip I've learned is to use sand in the coop. It's so much easier to clean, doesn't smell, and it looks nice. Plus the chickens love to roll in it. The other tip, that I think is great is that I installed a poop deck under the roosts in the coop. It makes cleaning the poop out so much easier. So far, I'm having a lot of fun with chickens and I learn something new every day from Shelly. Number nine, they are stubborn creatures. It would be how often chickens do the unexpected. I wish I knew how hard it was to try to keep control of them. They go on the road over and over again and eat things they aren't supposed to. You think it would be so easy just to stop them. It isn't, they are so stubborn from Carmen G. Number 10, rodent control. One of the biggest things I wish I'd known, well, I knew, but didn't think I'd have a problem with is rodent control. Mice, rats, chipmunks, and squirrels are always around, but they aren't a problem until you have a problem. If you want to deter them, use an evasive weed such as mint plants. It's a fast growing ground cover that will take over the run and beyond that rodents hate the smell of from Egghead J. Number 11 how to relocate predators. I wish I knew more about predators in the beginning. Lost some chickens to them. I still have to deal with them now and then. I don't kill anything. I simply relocate the predators. Hawks, raccoons, skunks, and possums are probably the most common ones from Rich C. A quick note, relocating predators can be illegal in certain states, so make sure you check first. Number 12, make sure their run is big enough. I have to say, I wish I would have known how big to build their run sooner. I had no idea what a chicken looked like in real 
real life. They got so big. So when my dad built their cage, I thought it was perfect until they got past 12 weeks and kept growing from Sammy L. Number 13, the difference between a pullet and a straight run. It's hard to say as two things jump out at me. The first is I wish I had known to order pullets when I ordered chicks instead of a straight run so I could have avoided a lot of excess cockerels. The second is I wish I had known to use hardware cloth on my run instead of chicken wire as I lost a lot of feed to rats squeezing in through the openings in the chicken wire mesh and had a possum tear through my chicken wire from Michael O. Number 14, how to groom your chickens. I guess I wish I knew Polish chickens get skittish because their top hats block their view. They need a good trim every now and then from Michaela J. Number 15, the experts aren't always right. Thing I wish I'd known, the experts aren't always right for every situation. Many things I've done wrong because of lack of money have turned into benefits. For instance, I had to use tall fences, but this ended up discouraging climbing predators from Ray C. Number 16, get your chickens the right coop. The one thing people could do that would make chicken keeping easier is to ensure they have an appropriate chicken coop. This means making sure the coop is well ventilated and also secure against predators and has enough square footage per chicken from Enola B. Number 17, get a sick bay ready. Personally, I prepared and planned nearly two years before making the plunge. The main thing that honestly surprised me is how large full-size chickens get and to emphasize, build your coop larger than you think. I had read that over and over and over and it really sunk in when my six chickens were fully grown and I had to increase the size of their coop and run. The second thing I had advised is to have a sick bay ready. Never thought I would need one, but so glad I did when one of my gals got ill this year from Sunflower F. Number 18, in certain areas, you can't keep roosters. One thing I wish I'd known before we got them is how amazing roosters are. They're truly amazing and it's sad in most places you can't keep adult roosters from Cascadia R. Number 19, plan your coop for future chickens. I've read everything available before I started research the breeds I wanted, etc. I did that for just over a year and then I built my first coop after scanning who knows how many designs. My thought was if I'm caring for something alive and breathing, then I'd better be prepared. The one thing I would have liked to have known before keeping backyard chickens is how to plan for the future. My original coop was plenty big for the original ladies, but I forgot that I would have to add to the flock at least every other year to maintain egg production. So I ended up doing an addition to the original coop and built a second coop this year from Sue N. Number 20, there are no avian vets in my area. I wish I had known that there are no avian vets in my area. If something happens to one of my hens, I'm on my own. So make sure you're knowledgeable about illness, diseases, so you are prepared if something does happen to your chickens from Kathy R. Number 21, chickens are super addictive. Prior to keeping backyard chickens, I tried to do a lot of research on them and the breeds that I wanted. I read everything I could to get my hands on so I could prepare myself for raising them. But most of what I've learned has been just from experience. The one thing I wish I would have known before getting them would be how addictive they are. I absolutely love new breeds and adding them to my flock. I started out with five chicks one day last July, and today I have almost 30 chickens. There's just something about stepping out into my backyard and having them follow me around and going to collect eggs. It makes me feel a sense of pride from Jennifer S. Number 22, make sure you know chicken math. This is a repeat. However, I think this is a different perspective. There are so many things I wish I'd known in advance, but in all honesty, the one thing I didn't expect is that I would become so attached to my birds. Each has their own personality, and while they may not be as affectionate as a cat or a dog, they are still very much individual pets to me. The other thing I wish I had known is about how chicken maths get you. From an original three pullets, I am currently up to 15 birds. They are just so much fun to have around in the garden. And of course, the fresh eggs are great. Number 23, calculate the cost of the coop. One thing I wish I'd known was the cost of building a coop and run. Definitely wish I would have checked that out before I had started keeping backyard chickens. I would have done better financial planning from Jones J. Number 23, Twenty-four. the amount of poop. I had no idea they could poop so much and so often. It's important to remember this when deciding how many birds to keep and how to keep them. The blogs out there talk about square feet per bird, deep litter, sand, trays, poop boards, but don't really address how much poop a new chicken keeper will be dealing with. Sherry M. 25, how cool they are. I've been raising them for about two and a half years. The one thing I wish I'd known before I started keeping backyard chickens was how cool of a pet they are. Would have gotten them sooner if I'd known from Dave C. Number 26, predator proof your coop. Mostly we learn as we go. One thing I learned the hard way was about raccoons. Once they know there is a food source, your birds within the coop, they are relentless and it is very difficult to predator proof a coop from a determined raccoon. They can climb, they can dig, and they are extremely strong and can rip chicken wire right off your coop. However, once the offending raccoon was dealt with, the attack stopped. 
Joey M. Number 27, pick your breed carefully. The most important thing about whether you are going to mix breeds or have a single breed is make sure you pick breeds based on docility. If you aren't going to let your girls free range, build a very big run from Lynn H. Number 28, what works for someone else might not work out for you. I guess my biggest thing was how to choose from all the different advice out there. I kind of stressed over that until one day I realized that no one was wrong. What worked for them was great, but it probably wasn't going to work for me. So I started researching a question and looking at all the answers. If I saw a trend leaning towards the same answer, I felt like I could try that. Angie C. Number 29, get friends who are good at DIY. The one thing I wish I had known before starting keeping backyard chickens is that setting up for them requires a lot of DIY skills and work. So if you're someone like me, a person without tools, know-how, or a handy spouse, who knows that kind of work, you'll need to have a lineup of friends or other family who will have time to help you out from Giselle B. Number 30, what a joy chickens are to keep. The one thing I wish I'd known before I started keeping backyard chickens is what a joy they are to have. I would have gotten them a lot sooner than we did from Patty H. Number 31, get your antibiotics ready. I spent a lot of time doing research and my vet is willing to help and explain to me what I don't know. The key thing is chickens get sick. So make sure you have antibiotics ready as they usually get sick on weekends or holidays from Liliana C. Number 32, be prepared for the unexpected. Originally, I grew up on a farm, so we had a bit of everything. A lot of what I know came from that and the rest of it is from extensive research and asking questions. I don't think there's any one thing I wish I knew beforehand, all my mistakes I have learned from and haven't had any drastic ones. Advice I would give for a new chicken owner is plan for at least twice as many as you think you're gonna get and be prepared for the unexpected from Raven F. Number 33, if a five-year-old can open the door, so can a raccoon. The main thing I wish I'd known is how to protect my flock from predators. Just an hour ago, I found my rooster fighting with a hawk. He's okay because I heard him scream and ran outside to help. I found one of my hens a little bloody, but she'll be okay. I'm so proud of him. Roosters can defiantly be a pain, but they are great at protecting their hens. I also wish I had predator proof my first coop better. I'm sad to say this, but I lost a lot of chickens because the coop wasn't secure. If a five-year-old can open the door, so can a raccoon from Megan S. Number 34, they aren't just birds. One thing, just one, haha. <laughs> from being little to now, I would say I wish I knew how much it took preparation wise. I always just thought the chickens just walked around and plopped out an egg, no worries. For predators, weather, worrying about them eating right, making sure they're safe, but free to be chickens roaming the yard. It's almost like I mother them too. They have such different personalities. I guess to put it simply, I wish I had known that they aren't just birds lol they are really fun and unique from short g number 35 understanding their behavior and biology i wish i had taken the time to learn more about poultry behavior and biology and how they live in the wild knowing behavior helps you understand the birds and what they need to live a happy and normal life i now understand what my birds need from me when I first started, half of them were roosters. I kept them confined in a small pen. There was fighting, pecking, birds dying. It was bad. Now I like watching them do what they do. I know how they think and that helps me raise them. So I'm able to raise them and not feel afraid from Lisa O. Number 36, how to make a wobbly fence. I would have liked to have known about the wobbly fence. I struggled for a long time to keep chickens contained before discovering that chickens won't fly up and perch on a wobbly fence. They need to feel they can safely land up on top of it and they can jump off. It is also cheaper and easier to enclose a large area that way. So now my chickens have a super huge yard of their very own. I haven't had any problems with escaping chickens since I decided it didn't matter what the fence looked like as long as it was as large as possible and kept my flock safe from Sherry N. Number 37, plan, plan, and plan. Regarding your question, one thing I wish I had known was that they grow so fast. I had my 10 chicks, which I bought in an impulse in my garage in a two by four plastic storage container. That they grew so fast that I had to get another brooder to separate them. If I had known this at the start, I would have built them a coop much faster from Chris S. 38, just like children, chickens get sick. Just like children, no matter how well you look after them, chickens do get sick. Educate yourself on how to treat the most common diseases and injuries like worms and bumblefoot. This way, you'll know what to look for before it gets out of hand. From Samantha A. Number 39, various illnesses chickens can get. Probably the thing I wish I knew most about before I got backyard chicken chickens is the number of things or illnesses that can go wrong with a simple backyard flock from Ali A. Number 40, breed descriptions are generalizations. No breed is perfect. It should always be remembered that breed descriptions are generalizations based on the average character of the breed. Individuals 
will vary based on the environment and breeding. When it comes to a hatchery stock, there is little variance between the common breeds. It will have approximately the same rate of laying. An average barred Plymouth Rock will lay just as well as an average speckled Sussex from Misha Q. Number 41, double your coop size. So this is a repeat, and as you're kind of seeing, some of these people have given similar answers, but I'm gonna continue to read on. So make sure to decide on how many chickens you want in advance and build a coop, which is double that size. I should have gotten a bigger coop for my girls and I have four right now, but I would like more. I did research a year before committing to getting baby chicks, but the coop size was underestimated. Also, you wanna make sure you have all the right products for them, the right feed, and how to help them regarding health. There are so many ways you can prevent health problems, but if you do not know how to prevent them, you can end up with all kinds of problems from CC. Just a quick note, just make sure you stay till the end because 45, 46, 47 are very important for raising chickens. Number 42, make sure you have a quarantine zone. The one thing I wish I knew before owning chickens is just how important quarantine is. If you fail to quarantine a new bird before introducing it to your existing flock, it can end up bringing a disease that is highly contagious. It has the potential to wipe out your entire flock. I haven't had that happen to me personally, but I do know of some who have. I went to add a couple of new pullets to my flock. When I first started, I had no idea about quarantine. It wasn't something I was prepared for, so I had to gather up what materials I could to make a temporary cage for them to live in for three to four weeks before they could be introduced to my existing birds. There's a lot more work than I was expecting from KS. Number 43, how to handle them properly. I've only been raising chickens for about a year now, adopted them as adults. It's been a learning process for sure, but the great thing is that they seem to allow for mistakes. They aren't so fragile. The thing, one thing I wish I'd known is contact with other people who raise and care for chickens. There are many people in my local area. In fact, I've met some who have kept chickens and ducks in a tractor pen just yesterday, but I've never seen anyone else handle chickens before, so I kind of go about it in my own way. From Sphinx F. Number 44. Predators and illness. I have owned chickens for about three and a half years, but we, my family and I have had so many issues that we've had to learn a lot in a hurry. Predators, illnesses, integration, egg laying problems, surprise cockerel, just to name a few. What's the one thing I wish I'd know before eating backyard chickens? I really have two things. How helpless I would feel when my chickens got sick as we don't have a chicken vet in the area, so we had to rely on the internet and feed stores for information. Number two, predators. We had no idea that our house was right in the middle of a bobcat corridor. I've had so many bobcats trying to eat our chickens, it's been insane. Haven't been able to let our chickens free range since we just invested in an electric fence and hope this will finally keep the bobcats out of the yard from janet s number 45 make sure you've built a bigger run the one thing i've learned is you can't have too much coop or run space and i wish i had learned more about predators after years of never losing chickens the predators came around big time perhaps because more houses and developments are going up so they gravitate to the area where the woods and fields still are from decal l number 46 research your breeds thoroughly i just started raising them a little over two months ago with no experience it has been trial and error our research as i went and had no idea i would fall in love with chickens the way i have i really wish i would have known more about breeds and also done my homework on the local feed stores from johira i number 47 how valuable a rooster is i once gave in and added a rooster to my flock my loss of life due to aerial predators decreased significantly I was afraid of a mean, aggressive rooster, but one sweet gentleman changed my outlook forever. Every rooster is different and no breed is better than the other. I've had all different temperaments from across many different breeds. One of the sweetest, most laid back roosters I've ever had was the Rhode Island Red, which often gets a bad rep for aggressiveness. On the other hand, I've had a mean buff Orpington rooster, which is supposed to be a calm and docile one. He would chase me all over the yard. I learned quickly that each rooster should be considered individually and that keeping one if you can is beneficial for your flock. Plus roosters add extra flair with their flashy colors and feathers from Johnny S. So I really hope you've enjoyed these 47 different points. Some of them were repetitive, but I felt including them since, you know, we like to hear everyone's different perspectives. If you're planning on keeping backyard chickens, take advice from these chicken owners themselves. After all, you can avoid these mistakes and misperceptions based on their experiences. You don't really need to make certain mistakes with your backyard chickens to learn from it. Take it from the experts and tenured ones in the field, and they are sure to give you a fresh perspective on how to keep chickens. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out this one right over here. That's going to do for us at the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for listening. Listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learn something new, like the video, subscribe, and I hope you have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.